Welcome back to DJ React, where travel and culture spark conversation every day. In today's conversation, we have top 10 best places to visit in Thailand. I'm excited about this, man. I am too, because I have a uh, third cousin that lives in Koh Samui, Thailand, mm -hmm. and his wife always posts pictures. Like, she's like an Instagram Make fiend. Being jealous, huh? Bro, oh my God. <laughs> and she doesn't answer anybody's comments. She's yeah. just like always showing off like all the cool places, how beautiful the ocean is out yep. there. Fishing, scuba diving. I'm like, oh my God. Time for us to go check it out, man. It's like a paradise, dude. Yeah. It is a paradise. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to jump in because we are going to be out in Asia next year. Um, so I'm really excited to, to visit, you know, Thailand, South Korea, Philippines, Cambodia, Vietnam, Bali, like, Bali all of the above. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, um, before we jump in, thank you everybody on GoFundMe, Patreon, and YouTube for all your love and support. You guys, you guys are awesome. Are freaking awesome. With that being said, Let's jump in. That water like doesn't look water. real. It's crazy. <laughs> That's like Fort Myers beach water. Yeah, that That's what I'm used to. <laughs> Thailand is a collage of animated scenes wow. that comprise bustling modern cities crowded with uktuks, Buddhist temples tended by orange robed monks, Hill tribes selling handicrafts, Jeez. lush landscapes dotted with traditional farming villages, and That's stunning coastlines see. peppered with gorgeous beaches and blue lagoons. Why would Such you ever want to leave? Like, if you live there, why would you ever want to leave? Oh yeah, like, why God. would you want to go from that to the city to that? Like, just the congestion, like, just I know, right? Just seems like as soon as I see that, I see stress. And then you go back to that beach and it's like, you just want to relax. It's just show. like a concrete jungle. Yeah. Like I get it. I get the city life because the convenience and this. I can get out, you can get your packages delivered quick, <laughs> right. get food quick. Everything's oh, quick. Oh man. But I want my peace. Bro, it just like, if, when you see, studies have been done. Scientists have actually done studies. When you see the ocean and you're, mm -hmm. you can go in the ocean, your life is actually a lot more yeah. happy. Right. You know, absolutely, man. You get that ocean vibe, that energy, and you get peace and relaxation. We also get minerals and stuff yeah. into your skin when you're in the ocean, absolutely. too, which helps a lot. Yep. In Portrait explains why Thailand is Southeast Asia's most popular travel destination. Building, Here's a look bro. at the best places to visit in Wait, Thailand. How do you make that? Wow. That's incredible. It's Thailand, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Thailand. We just had this discussion the other day where you can't touch the Buddha's head and you can't point at the president or the, not the president, the- No, um, they were even saying in the comments, there was a ton of people in there saying that that was incorrect. It was, it wasn't Philippines though, it was Thailand. Cause I was yeah. saying it was for the Philippines and no. they were saying that's not correct. No, Cause they're Thailand. like Christian Catholic over there. Yeah, there's other Asian countries that they worship Buddha, but yeah, from what they were saying, that's not a thing. Like, not in the like Philippines. The, they said pointing in general, which even over here, pointing at somebody is like kind of rude. That's rude. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. But touching the Buddha, I don't know. They said that wasn't a thing. Is either. that a thing? If if you touch the Buddha, that's like it's looked down upon or it's illegal out in Thailand. Let us know in the comments. Number ten. Chang. Located near the border with Cambodia, Koh Chang is the third largest island in Thailand and the biggest in the Koh Chang Marine Park archipelago. It is a mountainous island known for several waterfalls, thriving coral wow. reefs, rainforests, and long white sandy beaches. You're living a life in less than 10 right years, right? Koh Chang so has become right a there. major tourist destination in Thailand although still far quieter than islands like Phuket or Koh Samui. White Sand Beach is one of the most popular beaches on the island. Located on the island's northwestern corner, it's the longest beach on Koh Chang. The northernmost city in Thailand, Chiang Rai, serves as the main commerce hub of the Golden Triangle, which wow. contains the borders of Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. A busy town offering something for everyone, Chiang Rai is often used as a base for exploring oh the surrounding gosh, region. The town itself is quiet that during the day the when most of its packaged oh tourists are out of nature. But at night, the neon lights flash on and souvenir stalls Dude, and restaurants like, spring into action. I do, like, how do you... That is so intricate. Look, look at the detail. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you don't see stuff like that in America. Everything here is just like square just box, like wall, plain. wall. Box. Roof, roof, that's it. Yeah, <clears throat> this is incredible. 
That's crazy, the architecture on that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buildings were designed as like pieces of art. Oh yeah. Oh my it's God. Phenomenal. That's some peaceful living right there. Mm -hmm. Imagine the stars at night being out there. There's like no light pollution. I know. No cell, cell service, just like no Wi-Fi. Just like the energy is just so calm and relaxing. <clears throat> they said uh, where the rice fields are and stuff too, it's like uh, usually cooler in these areas because it's like one up in the mountains too, the rice fields keep everything cool too because of all the water and stuff. Mm -hmm. However, I will say where there is stagnant water, there's a ton of mosquitoes. Yes, which I mean, eaten alive. I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, I mean, if you look at these people, look how covered they are. The neck and head <clears throat> and arms, everything's covered. Yeah. And it's probably because of the mosquitoes out there. Yeah, they know something. <laughs> Number eight, Koh Tao. Koh Tao is an island in the huh. Gulf of Thailand, and it is accessible by high-speed ferry from the mainland city of Chung Pong. For travelers who enjoy diving, the island of Koh Tao is the perfect vacation destination. Around 7,000 new divers get certified on Koh Tao each year, making it yeah. one of the most popular destinations in the world to learn to dive. Why. Diving allows you to see bull sharks, underwater evolutionary sculptures at Ocean Utopia, and plenty of turtles, among many other marine species. I do want to go scuba diving and see the uh, whale shark. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's that, supposed to be amazing. That thing won't won't kill you no. like the tiger sharks or bull sharks will. But just like imagine seeing the sheer size of as big as a bus or bigger. Probably like what thirty feet long yeah, or something. They're huge. I couldn't imagine seeing Gigantic. something thirty feet swimming with me. Yeah, that'd be pretty incredible. Or like some of those whales that are like a hundred feet long. Oh my god, uh, that would just, just like two links, two bus links. It's like a, your brain can't even. If you see something like that in the ocean, your brain can't even fathom like, <laughs> seeing something. Like that, it's like as long as a Boeing 747. Yeah, literally, man. Yeah, wow. that's pretty insane. It's other popular activities include cycling and sailing around the beautiful island. God, bro, what the hell? How is that real? That's so incredible. I cannot wait to get Look out of the US, bro. That's I like cannot a bath. Wait to get out of the US. It reminds me of like an artificial pool. Like it doesn't look real. That's so beautiful. That's just like their backyard. Oh my gosh. My mom would love this place. Yeah. They build a house on the top of that. Yep. Number seven, Rayleigh. Never heard of Rayleigh before. Mm -hmm. Rayleigh is Whoa. a small peninsula that is only accessible by boat due to the high limestone cliffs cutting off Whoa, mainland access. These crazy. cliffs attract rock climbers from all over the world. Looks like but the area is know, also a popular it? attraction in yeah. Thailand due to its beautiful beaches and quiet, relaxing atmosphere. Accommodation on Ray Lake ranges incredible. from inexpensive bungalows, popular with backpackers and climbers, to renowned jet set resorts. Oh, it's like a climber's dream. Yeah, it is. Would you try that? Mm -hmm. Try to climb? Just the views and the sunsets, just out of this world. Imagine when you get to the top, the views you have from up there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Turquoise water is just beautiful. That's a vibe right there. Yeah, it is. Number six. Khao Sok National Park. I haven't heard of this either. That would be 
new places to go Considered see. by many to be one of Thailand's most wow. beautiful wildlife reserves, the Khao Sok National Park Holy covers cow. jungle forests, limestone karsts, rivers, and lakes in the Surat Thani province of southern Thailand. The it's reserve so is home to some of the most amazing wildlife in Thailand, such as Asian elephants, tapirs, and that would gibbons. Be cool. There are several trails in the park from which visitors... That's one thing that's super cool of there. Like, a lot of the animals are just roaming around. Yeah. Whereas, like, here, they're always, like, in a zoo, zoo. or, you know, it's, like, artificial. Yeah. But out there, like, the monkeys are coming up to the tourists and, like, yeah. you know, stealing their water, <laughs> stealing their food. It's Take so cool. Take everything from you. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say... I'll fix that. Uh, I was going to say, I want to get a motorbike and like just ride through something like that just take like a day or two and just go cruise through yeah just check everything out a road like a motorcycle road trip yeah. through, through yeah. just asia That's what general I would, would be uh you know one for the books for sure mm -hmm. choose to enjoy trekking through the jungle to spot wildlife photograph beautiful waterfalls swim in natural pools and admire stunning vistas wow <laughs> You I just like there. I it doesn't look real. It looks insane. Like the houses, they're on the water. Yeah. That's so cool. Dude, look at that little oh cove. Gosh. Wow. I wonder what the most dangerous things are. Like in here, is it just sharks? Uh, or I mean, they have... Uh, you have sharks, obviously. <laughs> they're in every body of water. I wonder if they have alligators over there, like we have in Crocodiles, Florida. maybe? That would be terrifying. <laughs> That's another thing I want to do, is like some kayaking out there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that water. What in the world? Number five, Ayutthaya. I've never heard of a lot of these places before. Yeah. Founded in 1350, wow. the city of Ayutthaya sits on an island surrounded by three rivers, connecting it to the- How do they build stuff better than us? <laughs> From 1300? I, I really don't know, man. But there's phenomenal, the artwork and the architecture and- I mean- Just the ability for it to last for centuries is pretty incredible. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Gulf of Thailand. Once declared the most magnificent city on earth, the ancient Siam capital was an impressive state with three palaces, more than 400 temples, Jeez. and a population that reached nearly one million. Wow, In 1767, the Burmese attacked and conquered Ayutthaya, however, and the capital was moved to Bangkok. The ruins are now a major attraction for those visiting Thailand. It is just 50 miles north of Bangkok and is easily reached by train or boat. So surreal to see something that old and still still well kept. <clears throat> it's in the tree. It's in the tree. Number four, Kanchanaburi. Located in Western Thailand, Kanchanaburi is best known for the bridge over the river Kauai that is linked with the historic death railway to Burma in which thousands of Asian laborers and POWs died during World War II. Several museums and war cemeteries all present information about the city and its bridge during the 1940s Japan occupation. Outside of Kanchanaburi are several national parks, including Arawan National Park, which offers beautiful scenery, waterfalls, and caves. It's crazy, they just built all that in the cave. Mm -hmm.
See, like that that would be the best place to build your house is like either like something like that, like a waterfall on your property, like a flowing yeah. clear river, or even the best hot spring. Oh god, that would hot be spring awesome. waterfall. Bro, I go out there like every day and just oh, chill in the hot sure, spring for sure. It looks like a like a fake water park, like somebody made that. Yeah, it just doesn't look real. The water is just so beautiful. Look at the fish down there. Yeah, see that. Number three, Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by the mountains of northern Thailand, Chiang Mai is a flourishing city often used as a base among both backpackers and tourists wishing to explore the lush landscapes, hill tribes, and outdoor adventures of the region. Nevertheless, gold? Chiang Mai itself is a large and culturally important city where historical and modern Thai architecture and traditions coexist. A walk around the historic center bestows views of old city walls and dozens of Buddhist temples. However, the most famous of these temples lies outside Chiang Mai, on a mountainside overlooking the city. I heard 7-Eleven food out there is popping. 7-Eleven food? Dude, have you seen what? it? What? No. Oh, dude, it's like a, it's like a Whole Foods. Their 7 Elevens are like Whole Foods. They have like, you know, pre done sushi, um, really? like high quality food too. Like, it's not like the US where it's like just garbage. Yeah, stuff. we don't have any. You go in a 7 Eleven here and it's just like soda, beer, cigarettes. Well, like I was here garbage. for the longest time. They're like, you have to check out 7 Eleven. You have to check out 7 Eleven. I'm like, bro, 7 Eleven's garbage. Like, yeah, it's especially like package well, processed food. In the US, it's garbage. It's not good at all. But then I was watching some videos in like Seoul, Korea, um, Thailand, and people were showing like, oh, in mm -hmm. uh, Japan, Tokyo too. And they were showing 7 Elevens and they have like amazing looking food. Like, just a whole bunch of cool products that we don't have over here. I guess it's that's true. Different. Yeah, because I saw one, I think it was Japan, and they were showing a McDonald's. Like, McDonald's here, it's not even real food. We know that. It's just yeah. fake processed plastic food. But then over there, they were showing the food, and it was, like, phenomenal. It was like going to a five-star restaurant. It was crazy. They had, like, how spaghetti different it is. and fried chicken and all kinds of weird yeah. stuff that we don't have over here. I like how everybody's always like out and about yeah. doing stuff, hanging out with each other. I feel like it's so cool. It'd be cool to go to these festivals too. Oh wow. Experience that with everybody. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Where does it all Look land? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number two, Bangkok. This was on our list. Thailand's mm -hmm. capital city and by far the largest city in the country. Bangkok is a buzzing cosmopolis of high rise buildings ancient temples and glittering nightclubs. <laughs> While the city is sometimes described as a concrete jungle, jam-packed with noisy traffic and air pollution, Bangkok is not without its natural beauty that is seen in its remaining canals, Temple green spaces, and flowering tropical plants. The famous tourist street, Khao San Road, is a good place to begin with its cheap shopping, dining, Jeez, and is that real gold? Also not to be is the sacred temple of the Emerald Buddha on the grounds of the Grand Palace. I was looking at some apartments to buy, buy in uh, Bangkok, and mm -hmm. um, I was shocked. I was like, oh, they're probably gonna be like 150, 250 grand, and I, I found a bunch for like 26K, 40K, 50K. Oh, really? That was like the price range, like 23K on the low end of like 50K. That's on like more actually of the, not bad, uh, man. Medium to high end, and mm -hmm. then obviously you can go crazy if you want to and buy something for 500k or a million bucks if you want to but like the one bedroom and two bedrooms are going from anywhere from uh 23k up to like 54k all that's actually pretty that reasonable range. man you can't find anything here like that and they were nice too like they're really nice um the 23k ones were kind of average these were condos average. yeah yeah like yeah. one bedroom condos like mm -hmm. small like 300 square feet 400 square feet but 
I mean, bro, it's crazy. Like I was looking there, you have to put 20 to 30% down. Uh, if you go out there and I'm like yeah. 20, uh, 20, 30% down on a 23 K to 50 K home is exactly. like 10 grand, five yeah. grand. <laughs> I mean, it'd be so easy to get into one of those places. Huh? There's your place to buy. I know. Is this a night market? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's huge. Their architecture is insane. It's so funny how the U.S. portrays it as like, don't go over there. It's so dangerous. It's a third world country. It's disgusting. Like, don't don't go to any of these places. And then we see videos of it. And I'm like, bro, this is like more innovative than the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. The U.S. is more like a third world country than all these other places. Yeah. Like their buildings, their, archi their yeah. old architecture from back in the day. It's like, gorgeous. I mean, it just like the U.S. has nothing on it no, at all. Even, like I've never seen close. anything like that beautiful over here. <laughs> The only thing I say, I, I will say that it's like very diverse over here is like our landscapes and like our, our national yeah, parks are beautiful. Like any of the cities in the U.S. are kind of just garbage. garbage. Like I'm trying to think of one city that's like maybe Boston. Boston, Boston was, was pretty was, cool. Was, was I like very Boston. nice. Um, but as far as like the national parks, I feel like we have like the best diverse national mm -hmm. parks in the U S like out of the whole world. Well, except for waterways, like the waters that we've seen now, Oh, like Thailand. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty incredible. Nothing compares. Nothing no. compares. Number one, Kofifi. Kofifi? Mm -hmm. That's number one. Kofifi is possibly one of Thailand's most famous archipelagos. It is most notable for a stunning natural bay wow, that was, was filmed close. in the movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. But while many come here and have this renowned bay at the top of their to-do list, there are many more reasons That's to beautiful. tempt you to Fifi beyond Maya Bay. The six islands of Fifi are jaw-droppingly beautiful, with pearl-white sand beaches and emerald waters. Spend your days up. swimming and snorkeling among extraordinary marine life or hire a long tail boat. The surrounding islets, like Monkey Beach, are worth a visit, home to a plethora of cheeky tree-swinging monkeys. That'd be cool to see. That's gorgeous, man. Imagine the first people that like settled, like pulled up on a, on a boat, you know, and just were like, just like, damn. We made it, boys. Yep. We made it. Look how pristine. <laughs> That's incredible. It's like so bright. Yeah. The water is so bright. Oh my God. I, that's one thing I've never seen in my life, in real life, is crystal clear ocean with just, you know, we have mountains here, right? But crystal clear oceans with mountains with greenery on yeah. them like that like contrast of colors it, it's it's gonna something be beautiful I to literally go out and see like I, we've got the mountains here but it's like desert rock mountains yeah 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 by yeah. the way we're in las vegas so it's all desert but yeah. i mean it is still beautiful yeah. like, except for mount charleston i mean that's 45 minutes and that has trees and you know greenery and stuff which is right. kind of pretty and snow right now but like this, nothing like that with the, like, like cause I, I always go to the keys and it's, it's really nice water out there too, but, but no mountains. greenery and mountains combined together with the crystal clear water. It's like literally Incredible. looking at avatar. Yes. Like you're watching the movie. You're in the movie now. Yeah. Toropia. Guys, make sure you guys go subscribe to Toropia. That was a nice video. That was, yeah, that was really good. I liked it. I'm oh, excited man. to go check it out now. It's like, I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm like kind of sad because like I'm not there yet. <laughs> I want to be out there so freaking bad. It was like when I wanted to leave Florida for like 20 something years and go to California, and I like finally did it. I was so pumped, but yeah, we're on our countdown right now, man. Yeah. Counting down the months, we'll get out of here soon. November 7th, our lease is up here. So we're, we're planning on going to the Philippines first, then Thailand, South Korea, so on, so on, so on. We're gonna basically explore all of Asia first. So that's why you guys see us doing so many Asian videos. Um, 
But yeah, if you guys have any more videos like this or, you know, hidden hidden spots in Asia that, you know, most people don't know about, please drop them over in our community chat and our Patreon. Just keep throwing us uh, video after video over there so we know what to react to. We know what you guys want us to react to. Um, also, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for watching. We'll see you over on Patreon. Peace. Peace.